Hello kids, gather round, it's fairy tale time. Today's story goes way back to ancient China. It's the story of Mulan. Once upon a time, a baby girl named Hua Mulan was born. She was a very brave little girl. By the time she was five years old, she'd already tamed a tiger, bad kitty, walked on a super high tightrope and rescued a kitten from a tree. She was so brave, she wasn't even scared of the dark. Well, as long as her nightlight was on. When Mulan was older, but not quite a grown-up, she heard some very bad news. There was going to be a battle, and one man from every family had to go fight the enemy. It was boys only back then. No girls allowed. In Milan's family, it was just her, her grandfather, and her baby brother. Mulan looked at her grandpa. He was old, so old. He just did crossword puzzles all day and couldn't hear anything, even if you shouted. Hi, Grandpa. Huh? I said, hi. Huh? Grandpa's pretty old. He can't hear very well. Huh? Oh, bye. Then Mulan looked at her brother. He was so little. He couldn't even ride a horse into battle. They probably didn't even make uniforms in his size. Mulan knew what she had to do. She cut her hair, dressed up in her best fighting outfit, and bravely marched out to join the army. Along the way, she practiced being a boy. Hello there, mister. Hey, dude. What's up, bro? When she reported for duty, nobody seemed to know she was a girl. Probably because she could do so many push-ups and was wicked good at swordplay. No one expected that from a young girl back then. Mulan quickly became the best soldier around. She was feeling pretty cool. And then the big horn sounded. Oh, by the way, that was a sign that the enemy was coming and it was time to fight. But don't be nervous, kids. Mulan was ready. She jumped on her horse and galloped towards the invaders, yelling like this. Yeah! The other soldiers joined in and charged, all yelling Mulan's fierce battle cry. Yeah! 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 This scared the socks off the invaders. Seriously, their socks flew right off. I've never seen anything like it. When she got to the general of the enemy army, he was curled up into a ball. He was so scared. He wasn't a very brave general. Please don't hurt me, sir. I don't want to hurt you, but you guys gotta go. You're being bullies. Thank you for your mercy. You're a good man. Thanks, but I'm an even awesomer girl. The general was confused, but that's okay. Mulan had won the battle. Later, there was a big celebration to honor the soldiers, especially the brave young person who had saved them all. Mulan wore her prettiest dress and put flowers in her hair. When she accepted her medal, everyone was like, she's a girl, awesome. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Then they cheered and said, for she's a jolly good fellow. 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 Which nobody can deny. And she was. The end. Watch more Fairy Tale Time episodes right here. Like Rapunzel. Click now. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Say bye, Grandpa. Huh? Oh, hi.